Hi YouTube. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Artline 6 Love Art Sketch Pencils that was actually sent to me by a subscriber. So that is what I'm going to cover in this review video. Stay tuned. Well, I want to say thanks to the subscriber. Now, I was asked not to mention his name, so uh, I respect anonymity. Um, and I am very appreciative when somebody goes out of pocket to send me pencils to review. Now, he's sent me uh, these pencils and a few others that I will be doing in a different video that I'm really looking forward to doing because it's going to be touching on the darker graphite pencils and I'll be comparing them with other dark graphite pencils and he's really interested to seeing how they compare so I'm more than happy to do that and by the way if anyone else wants to send pencil products or whatever they want me to uh, review them well absolutely just email me at ricksconduit at gmail.com anyway let's get right into this I do want to give a disclaimer though is that I have to give an honest review so uh, if you do send anything and and I don't like them I'm going to say I don't like them but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate the fact they were sent so I hope that makes sense but I'm, I'm also sure that everybody would appreciate that I am as candid as possible now these pencils here look like they come from uh, looks like it says Shakahata, Shakihata, Japan. And in the back, it reads a little bit about that. It says uh, Shakihata Incorporated is a leading stationary company from Japan and since 1925 has been offering superior quality writing and marking products to its customers worldwide. Artline sketch pencils are ideal for fine drawing, drafting, and sketching. These high quality graphite pencils are very soft and smooth. Go ahead and sketch with your spirit of I love art. Learn to draw. That's great advice. Learn to draw. Simple sketching techniques with sketch pencils. Use HB for outline and darker grades to give depth in the sketch. There's your gradient effect, dark effect, and they're child safe pencils. All right. Awesome. Now let's pull them all out. Now we're looking at HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, 10B. All the nice dark shades. So these are all dark pencils. So I'm just going to grab one of them here. See, I'll just grab this one here and let's just take a look at the look of the pencil. Now you can see it's kind of a semi-gloss silver paint job. And it has on there black lettering which says, Artline Love Art Sketch Pencils. Then you have the painted blue cap end here with a white band around the edge here as you can see. And this one here says 2B. Now as you've if you've watched any of my review videos on uh, drawing pencils, you know that I'm not a big fan of only putting the grade on one side of a pencil where you can't tell what that grade of the pencil is like this. You can't see what grade it is. You have to turn them all over when you're looking for a pencil. Where is that, where is that 4B that I've been looking for? Oh, there it is. You know, and then you just... You know, that frustrates me. So uh, that's a negative that I, I just wish that they would all put more than uh, one side. They put 4B here and maybe 4B here. At least three times would be nice. But anyway, uh, just by the appearance alone, I think they're nice looking. They say it's child safe paint. So I imagine if you your child is 
you know one that chews on the paint that's not going to have like any kind of lead or anything in it now they all come pretty sharpened as you can see however they're kind of blunt looking sharpness so I'm going to sharpen them again Now I'm going to stop short of going all the way because I don't really don't want a very long soft tip. But look how long that is. Ooh, wow. Okay, here's the 8B. And you can stop where you want. Look at that. <laughs> kind of on the pricey side. Anyway, so... Let's see how these pencils look on paper. So I'm going to have to, let's see, HB, 2B, get these in order. See, here's where i got to turn them all over so I can figure out what they are. That's the bummer part. Here we go. All right. So let's start with the HB pencil. And let's see if we're dealing with a high-quality smooth pencil here. Or just another whole hummer. So that with the HB, and again, I'm going to hold it in the back like I always do. So letting the pencil and gravity do most of the work. This is a smooth side of 90 pound basic drawing paper. So nothing spectacular. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and lay down that HB. And I'll compare them with another pencil set here so you can you have some kind of a reference. Alright, so that would be I'll get that nicely shaded in. Make sure it shades in really nice. That's the HB. With a long point like that, I have to be careful not to press down. Now I'm going to go use the 2B here. Take a look at how that comes out. And that should be smooth. Now, what I've noticed with the HB and what I'm also noticing with the 2B so far is there is a feeling of a little scratch which is indicative of clay material and that is not something I like to feel when I'm drawing and I get a sense of that so far with these first two pencils they go on really nice as you can see it's shading just fine and I'm not putting any pressure and it's going from lighter to darker and we're going to check out the rest here in a minute but I have to report though there's a there's I mean and it's it's a very minor like it doesn't it's not like um, scratching all the time but you'd be you'd be drawing and then all of a sudden you feel a little bit and then it goes away and then a little later you feel a little bit and goes away but I I like pure butter for my drawing pencils. I just love the, the feel of graphite when it glides without running into any kind of a scratch feel to it. So I'm just reporting that. But so far, uh, I would have no problems drawing with this pencil set. It seems to be quite nice. But I'm going to keep on going because it's still a little early here. Now I'm going to go with the 4B pencil. This is the 4B. Okay, well, let's just uh, keep on going here and see how that's going to turn out. Right now the 2B is looking a little darker than the 4B, so that would be weird. Well, I'm going to give this 4B all the chance in the world because I, I am being very light with my hand here.
and I'll make sure that I've I've put enough graphite down okay now we're transitioning there we go so you just got to keep layering it that looks like it's saturated pretty good and I'm going to go back with this 2B here just to make sure that I've saturated it pretty good I can definitely feel the difference this has a little scratch to it this 2B but not much just a little but see now that I've added more 2B now it's starting to get So I'm going back to this 4B again, but I can't put pressure on it. I have to let it glide. It just seems a little odd here that I'm I'm getting that. So we'll look at it in a second. Oh, let me write down 4B here. All right. Next thing is 6B. 6B. This it has to be soft because 6B is a really soft pencil. Okay, now let me bring it up close for you all to see. And as you can see, well, you know, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me just do it this way and zoom in rather than me holding it up to the camera. There we go. Okay, we have this gradients of shade here, except um, I have with my eyes this doesn't look as dark as I mean darker than that the 2B looks darker than the 4B that to me is a problem and I'm not sure how this looks too because there's there's a thing called glare as you can see um, as I do this um, so I find that a little a little odd Here's, here's what I'm going to do now. Just to make sure, let me get my Mitsubishi High Uni pencils out here, which I use to compare other pencils with, and we'll find out how its 2B and 4B looks. So let's, uh, let's do some comparisons here. First off, I'm going to do the HB. Let me zoom in so that you can just see the comparison you don't have to actually see the pencil set here you just know it's there and here's what I'm talking about having the labels all the way around is really really nice I prefer that over just having it on one side and then you don't know what it is when it's turning okay so I'm gonna lay down this HB right below it and we can then take a look and compare So there is the Mitsubishi. Now all the Mitsubishis are soft. 
and they look like they go from light a little darker a little darker a little darker and then at this point when you're getting past 6b the darkness is a little subtle but it is a little darker and then it's a little darker there I get in this area here it's like I don't care what I use now the art line visually to the best that I can tell looks like the 10B may be darker and the 8B may be darker and the 6B may be darker and so there's a possibility that these art lines can get a little bit darker they're not as soft but they're darker now if we want to get really 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 technical here which is what I do I am now going to put this on the light box let's really do some comparing here and I'm going to zoom this in as far up as I can and another thing too is I'm going to I'm going to go sideways here so I can get some more magnification going here and I'll just tell you which is which uh, make it easy for you but on the left is the Mitsubishi and on the right is the art line there we go and for even more goofiness I'm going to get my magnifying glass close. See how this one looks here? About the same, huh? Alright. Guess either one of these magnifying glasses will work. I'll use this one here. So, the HBs pretty much look like HBs. Now, if you look here, the Art Line 2B is much darker than the Mitsubishi 2B though I think it's out of order so let's let's compare that real quick to make sure here is the 2B and 4B now when I look at it on the light box it may not look as out of order as I had thought so let's take a look here there is the 2B art line and there's the 4B the 4B with light shining through it looks like it is actually darker than the 2B so it is playing tricks on my eyes when the lights are on and it must be due to glare so the 4B art line is apparently darker than the 2B art line and then we go to 6B and it looks like it's darker than its 4B and then we're going to go to 8B art line and the 8B looks darker than the 6B and then we're going to go to 10B and the 10B well that's a tough one there so you're going to have to kind of decide on your own on that one but it's quite possibly mildly darker but who knows that's going to be a tough call so at this point you're probably getting into overkill when you get past the 8B your eyes may or may not notice a difference I think there's a point where you just you really can't get any darker with graphite and you need to go to charcoal or carbon but there you go okay so I believe that the art line 2B to 4B is correct and now that I can see it in the light box uh, I can definitely see that the 4B is darker than the 2B so that is a good thing for the art line and then comparing the grades we already know the HB is comparable but the uh, 2B art line is darker than the 2B Mitsubishi in my opinion yep it's definitely darker then you come down here to the 4B 
And sorry if this makes you a little dizzy, but it's the best I can do. Here's the 4B art line. Here's the 4B of the um, Mitsubishi. And to me, they look the same. Do it this way. Leave in the comments below what you think. Here is the 6B. How do they look to you? Now don't let the, wa the white in the paper fool you because that shines through and it, it's deceiving. But here is the 6B art line and here is the 6B Mitsubishi. So leave in the comments below which you think is darker or are they the same? It's kind of hard to tell. This way here kind of fools me in that since this is covering up more of the white specks it looks darker. But then when I look at some of the dark specks within the Mitsubishi it looks like it could be darker. So that's a toss up. You decide. Here it even looks like the art line 8B is darker because it covers up more of the white space or more of the white of the paper but if you look at the dark parts of the Mitsubishi and compare it that way it may be the same you decide please leave in the comments below which one you think is darker but just looking at it like this I would be inclined thinking that the art line was actually darker and here is the 10B which one looks darker or are they comparable? At this point, I think you've gotten as dark as you're going to get with graphite. I don't know, that one looks darker than that one, but as a whole, there you go. The Mitsubishi looks darker to me on the left. But you tell me in the comments below. Please share what you think. Even if someone disagrees with you, it'd be nice to know what you all think looking on the video here. There's the HB. There's the 2B. There's the 4B. There's the 6B. There's the 8B. There's the 10B. Take a little bit of looky look on that. The Mitsubishi, of course, I believe is a higher quality graphite. I think it feels smoother. I can hear it is softer. However, the art line has good gradient tone now that I see it in the light here using the light box from left to right. It's probably a less expensive pencil, I would imagine and uh, in some parts it may actually look like it's darker if not comparable so there you go however this these two really fake me out the 2B and 4B fools me which kind of bugs me if to tell you the truth but here we go I'm gonna back off a little bit so I can get focus the 4B does look darker than the 2B but when I look at it with my own eyeballs here in the light and that is like this then the 2B starts to take on a darker look to me than the 4 I, I can't tell and it could be because of the glare of the light I'm not I'm not sure and this would bother me while I'm drawing but I leave it to you to decide how does that look to you see like this it just kind of throws me off whereas here it's easy for me to see that that is lighter and that is darker but here it throws me off you see the difference because this is definitely darker than this Whew. well I've talked enough about this so anyway please give your opinions down below but I think that the art line is a nice set of drawing pencils uh, they may not be as smooth as the more expensive higher quality Mitsubishi High Uni pencils. However, uh, I will definitely uh, I will definitely say that they're good enough to, to draw some really good art with. And so I'm okay with that. 
these two just confuse me. I, I, it's tricks the eyes. So <sighs> I leave that to you. Anyway, there you go. There's my review of the Art Line Six Love Art Sketch Pencils. Nice little puppy drawing there. I appreciate you watching. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please leave your comments below on what you think about these two sets of pencils and how they compare. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.